Are you having fun in your business? I mean, it should be fun, right? Well, sometimes the fun gets overlooked when you're dealing with the have-tos, the complexities of being your own boss and actually running the show. It's my goal that this, the Fun Business Fun Money Podcast, can help reignite your spark of fun by providing tips, tools, insights, and inspiration so you can enjoy running your business in the simplest, easiest, most fun way possible. I'll be sharing practical tips and ideas that you can implement immediately, along with business and money mindset insights to keep you moving forward no matter what's going on around you. I'm your host, Deirdre Amies, the fun business and money coach and founder of Powered by Personality. Let's play. Hey there, and welcome back to the Fun Business Fun Money podcast. If you're tuning in for the very first time, hey, hello. I'm doing a big welcome wave across the internet from me to you, wherever you are. And if you've been hanging around these parts for a while because you like the vibe, then settle on in for another exciting installment of what I call a quick tip episode. (laughs) And as we've come to know by now, it's not always quick in terms of time, more like quick in that you can implement immediately or easily. I just want to give you a quick reminder that another way you can get a quick insight is to sign up for my weekly fun day emails. Fun day is Monday in my world because the start of the working week should always be a good thing, don't you reckon? Just click on the fun day email link in the description of this episode, pop in your details and hey presto, you're on the list. If you like a little something something in exchange for your email address, you can go take my Sacred Money Archetypes quiz for some quick insights into your relationship with money. Or you can grab my Start, Stop, Continue guide, the handy dandy PDF to help you be more productive. I give you permission to start, stop or continue doing whatever makes you happy, whatever adds value or makes you money. You'll find the links to the quiz and to get the Start, Stop, Continue guide in the description and in the show notes. And all of those will pop you on the fun day email list. Alrighty. Today, we are touching on the topic of refund requests. Dun, dun, dun. I know, so dramatic, but it can feel really triggering to get a refund request, can't it? I remember my first one. It was only a few months after I launched my coaching business. A client signed up full of excitement. She paid in full for three months coaching. We had our very first session. And then she went silent for a good week or so. Then out of the blue, she sent a message saying it's not what she thought it was, which is totally fine. She wasn't ready to deal with a lot of the mindset things that we were going to talk about. And she admitted that she hadn't fully understood what it was going to cover. She got caught up in the FOMO and wanting to be a part of the positive energy that I was talking about. So I refunded her in full immediately, and in no time at all, another new client came along to fill that spot in my calendar anyway, so yay. But that's not how every refund request goes. I'd love to hear about some of your experiences with refund requests, good or bad. Send me a DM. I'm at Fun Business Fun Money on both Facebook and Instagram, and tell me your refund request story. We're going to have a laugh about it. And I may even be able to coach you on how to make it easier or feel easier in future. And that's essentially what we're covering today in a snack-sized format, because there's a lot that we can go into about refund requests and how they feel, what causes them, what you can do. But I've actually just got one key insight for you today. And this topic came up thanks to a fabulous friend and a former client of mine. And for privacy's sake, we'll call her Ashley. She had a pretty random and weird refund situation come up recently. One of Ashley's former clients contacted her. They had worked together for three months, three years ago. Three years! 
And apparently Ashley owed this person a 30-minute session and she was requesting it to be paid out as money instead of catching up the session. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't charge by the hour and neither does Ashley. You could say an hour of her time is worth a certain amount, but that also ignores all the other elements of her offer, including resources and videos, communications, her expertise and her qualifications. So there's a quick bonus tip for you right there. Your offers should never be based on a number of hours or sessions in exchange for a certain amount of money. Once Ashley traced back through those old messages, she could see where they had indeed missed a 30-minute session. But it wasn't from her lack of trying to close it out. She had made multiple attempts to reschedule the session, but this client went silent. She ghosted her. Until suddenly, three years later, she wants a refund. And I'm sure countless others have experienced this as well, where clients haven't completed all of their sessions, it's been more than a hot minute, and suddenly they resurface wanting something. And the first thought we immediately have is, oh my God, what do I say? How do I handle this? Ah! But here's what we also need to be thinking. Do I have clear enough boundaries on my refund policy? Do you even have a refund policy? If not, hop to it and get something in place immediately. I promise you it'll save a whole lot of time and angst when those refund requests come in. And it's a matter of when, not if. It's gonna happen. You don't have to go all complicated and official with a legally reviewed refund policy. You simply need to have clear terms and conditions laid out in your client agreement. I mean, you have one of those too, don't you? Please tell me you have one of those. You need to have it laid out on your website and in the details of your offer. So back when I had my first refund request, it was literally, I called it a make me happy guarantee. If after our first session, you're not happy, you get a full refund. And that's basically what it is now too, although I've adapted it a bit more to fit my current offers. So what's your refund policy? How much time or access will you give someone before the refund period expires and they're no longer entitled to their money back? I mean, I sent in a warranty claim on my favourite sunglasses a few months ago simply because I couldn't find any info on the website about their warranty period. And they responded that it was indeed outside the 12-month period. Now I knew that it was a 12-month period. But they also gave me a discount code to use on my next purchase which was nice. But it was also a good reminder that they needed to update their FAQs on their website so that they avoid situations like that happening again. Oh, and by the way, Ashley did end up responding to her former client with a firm, no, I will not refund you for a 30-minute session from three years ago. It always pays to wait and hit pause until the initial emotional charge has settled. That is always a smart idea. As is talking it through with your business friends who may have had similar experiences, so that you can work together to come up with the right words to handle it without coming from that emotional place. So that's what I got for you today. Make sure you've got a simple, clear refund policy in place that meets your needs as well as your clients. There are no hard and fast rules, and you can choose to be completely flexible depending on the client and the situation. You can refund outside of the the terms and conditions if you so desire. Take care, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for joining me. If you found this episode useful, make sure you hit that follow button on your chosen podcast platform so you get the notifications when each new episode goes live and you don't miss anything. If you know someone who would also get something from it, don't be shy, share it with them. One of the best things about being a business coach for online entrepreneurs is helping them make sense of their creative ideas and turn them into a simple, clear business system that actually makes money. A client recently described me as a castle building expert. 
You've got the big vision and some of the building materials already, but you don't quite know how to bring it all together into a solid foundation. Then I come along and I show you the blueprint that makes sense of it all. I love that analogy. And I'd love to show you your personalized blueprint, the one that's just right for you and your clients. But I can't do that until you join Ignite, my business and money coaching program. So head on over to deirdreamies.com forward slash Ignite for all the details. Fill out the application form and let's talk about building your castle in the simplest, easiest way possible.